Hey y'all, welcome to Toadstead. Well what you're looking at is the little Viper power auger that we use here on the Toadstead and this thing's kind of getting old, it's been around for a while now and let me see if I can show you what the problem is. See that little bulb right there? That's the primer bulb. Well it has just disintegrated and uh, it's time to fix everything up but this particular machine I got it um, at a yard sale believe it or not and I did not pay that much for it at all uh, did really 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 well with this and some other stuff at the same time and the guy who had it originally uh, bought it to put some fences in, used pre-mix in it, this is a two-stroke, and then let it sit and, you know, had the typical problems you have with a two-stroke when you do that. Now here on the Toadstead, we do use the uh, pre mix synthetic fuel. Um, I'm out of, what I have is inside machines right now, I don't have a can or I'd show it to you. But it's just basically a pre-mix, it's not cheap at all. But it seems for us to be working really, really well uh, with not leaving as much residue in the fuel system on these two-stroke machines, whether it be this one or the chainsaws or the, uh, the weed eater. Well, when this primer bulb started to go bad and this carburetor started to act funny, bottom line is I just decided to go ahead and replace the carburetor. Now I know that sounds a little like uh, con maybe conspicuous consumption but the simple truth is the bulb kit and everything for this little carburetor was like six bucks and uh, believe it or not the the new carburetor <laughs> roosters having fun the new carburetor um, with a few bulbs, here's the little box right here, um, was $13. So that was not a difficult decision to make. Just checking out what's in the box here. There's a little gasket. And here's the carburetor itself. And then here's four of the actual primer bulbs. So we're going to take this apart and uh, just swap out the carburetors. All right, I'll try and bring you along with some of this. Now, this is my first time, too. And I know somebody's going to be like, hey, you didn't show us what you did. All right, now, hopefully you can see that. I have no idea. Let's see. Here we go. You basically just like take, just like last time, like I'm from certain parts of California. This is the throttle. You pop the little ball out of its keeper right there. And then just ease the cable out. And then very, very carefully pop the hoses off. Nice. There's not much difference between these two hoses. And uh, <laughs> I don't trust my memory. So what I'm actually going to do is pop that hose off of that one, put it on our new carburetor, and then do the same with the, with the bottom one. It would be nice if it would come off easy. There it comes. I probably buggered that hose up pretty good. Let's see. A little bit. I'm going to cut a little bit. Let me get a better tool. I'm going to cut a little bit off of that hose. Because uh, yeah, that's the kind of thing that will come back and haunt you. It'll leak, so we'll just pop that off of there where it was stuck. And you can see why. 
that hose is much this hose seems to be a different size let's pop that all off there if I run out of hose you know if I bugger this up I'll have to go get more hose then we'll do that but that, that's not going to want to go on there very easily at all that port is much larger than the one on top but the hose looks to be about the same size let me uh, muck about with this and then we'll come back all right you see the bottom one is on there I just ended up having to find a uh, pair of pliers and very very carefully just expand it on there I, I stuck it into the I stuck a Phillips head screwdriver into it and uh, kind of expanded it a little bit and then shoved it on with a pair of pliers. So that went on pretty well. And you saw the two screws. These are right here. They held on not only the air filter housing, but they actually push the... They are what holds the carburetor on to the block. You know, <laughs> these things are pretty darn simple. And there it is. All installed in there. Ooh. Not too difficult and definitely a whole lot less expensive than just changing out that bulb. Alright, now we can dig some holes. <laughs>